Yo, what is going on? George or Regen here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the video. If this video does help or you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Feel free to hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. And let me know how your day is going in the comment section down below. Now, the reason you guys are here is to basically fix or adjust your visuals, your brightness, all that kind of stuff, all on Modern Warfare. This game has been out for a very long time now, and I honestly have been gaming with it in these bright ass settings for such a long time and I thought I wanted to look into it to improve my stream. So in this video, I have settings to just improve the actual in-game look and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna actually have settings for any streamers or content creators out there to improve your OBS settings to make your, um, your picture look better to the viewers. So although it won't change the picture look on your actual monitor or you the viewers on your stream will make it uh, a lot different for them so they will see it differently it's a little hard to explain I'm gonna timestamp it so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about so if you guys aren't content creators and you're just a casual gamer and you want to see exactly how it looks just through the settings on the game then the beginning half of the video will be for you uh, the second half will be all in the OBS settings, okay guys? So like I said, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world. Welcome to Regen Nation. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, we're almost at 500 subs away from 10K, which is absolutely incredible. And uh, yeah, I really hope this video does help you out and uh, enjoy. P -p Peace. Alright guys, so as far as the game side goes, there's not going to be too, too many settings that you need to change. Now, this is going to be a very, very simple video as far as settings goes. Uh, there's just a few very minor tweaks that you have to do to really make it stand out. Um, uh, brightness is one of the biggest things that cause oversaturation. It just like makes it look super grainy. You can see all these little like dots on your screen it looks absolutely horrible now as far as brightness goes guys like i was playing at like 65 okay so look at what i was playing on it looks very washed out not that good very very like just eh. you go into settings you're gonna want to drop it down right to where this barely visible isn't like completely invisible but it's enough where it doesn't look too too grainy so mine's at 54 you can drop it a little bit more if you would like it also depends on your monitor or your tv brightness as well so this is kind of like a preference thing if that makes sense there now you go back in the settings guys the next thing you're going to want to mess with everything's in general okay keep that in mind uh you're going to want film grain on uh grain on absolutely nothing the higher the film grain is like it just it, it looks very grainy. That's like the exact thing we're trying to avoid. So you want to put that all the way down. Subtitles, this is totally up to you guys. It doesn't really need to be there. Now, this is a very, very big one, guys. The colorblind type, this is super important. This is what makes your game actually look way better uh, than before. Now, before we start messing with this, you want to mess with this. Color blind target. You want to put this thing on both. If it is on um, just world or just interface, it's not going to change everything. If you have it on both or at least world, because that's the thing we're focused on. But both changes your HUD and everything. You want that. You want everything to be changing simultaneously. Now, although I'm red green colorblind, this one helps me the most. The one that actually looks the best, uh, believe it or not, is the second one here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these because I'm going to butcher them. The first one does not do much. Uh, Pro doesn't do that much. This one makes it look the absolute best, but because I am red green or green red colorblind, this one helps me the most and it actually still looks very, very good. Now, I personally like this one because of my um, my eyes. They're, they're not, I guess, quote unquote normal. But the second one here actually looks pretty good as well. Keep that in mind. Um, so those are the two you're going to want to kind of pick between. The first one is not the go to. It makes I don't even know what that is. So, yeah, definitely go with that one there. Um, now, these are things that aren't going to change the settings too, too much, but are very, very important. And I've said this in old videos as well. World motion blur you want disabled and weapon motion blur you want disabled. These two things here are the most disgusting things that have ever been added to video games. They want it for realism, uh, but realism doesn't always mean, you know, the best. Like, you don't want that, guys. Okay, that's all that's pretty much on here. If it still looks a little bit washed out, guys, turn your brightness down more. Because watch, I'm going to turn it down more. And look at how much better that looks again as well. Like, although I turned it down and I'm 
personally not a fan of how dark it is. It looks very clean, guys, compared to the original bit. Like, this looks very, very nice. So I'm going to have mine on 52. I think that's, you know, it's pretty fair. It's not too dark, not too light. I think it looks good. If it's too bright, you kind of don't even see enemies' heads too, too well. It's kind of weird. And if it's too dark, everything's like certain dark corners and stuff. You won't be able to see enemies can't be in the corner. So I would definitely say this would be the best settings as far as... Um, as far as just the actual gameplay on the console goes. Um, obviously, if you're running PC, guys, there's gonna be a lot more settings to run. I have mouse and keyboard on my Xbox One. You guys will have a lot more settings that you gotta be digging into if you're on PC to really optimize what you're working with. That being said, you're gonna wanna go onto a video that has every single PC um, aspect listed. Uh, and there's also monitor settings as well. So I'm gonna meet you guys on OBS to really uh, break that down now. Okay guys, for the final steps, all you're gonna wanna do as far as the OBS settings goes is there's not too, too many things that you're changing on the game or OBS. It's just very, very minor like tweaks and adjustments. All you're gonna wanna do guys is on your actual gameplay, go down to the Elgato setting here and right click on it. Then when you go to filters, you're gonna wanna add a color correction, okay? So you're gonna press this little plus button change it to color correction and then go to here now the only thing you're going to want to change is the saturation there's a few tweaks you can do on brightness and contrast and all this shit but realistically if you're going to be changing this kind of stuff you want to change it so you actually see it instead of just your obs so those are the kind of things you want to change on the game or your monitor and not um obs because then only the viewers are going to see the difference so as far as saturation goes normally you'd be sitting at Everything would be neutral at zero. I personally like to put it up to 0 0.35. I think that looks the best in my opinion. As far as the colors go, when you turn it really, really high, you can obviously see those colors being just like um, altered a lot, a lot. I think 0 0.35 is a very subtle change, but it looks clean. Uh, you can go a little higher if you want, but you don't want colors to get super, super just like too too vibrant like it, it doesn't look good once you hit one two three it's it's pretty nasty i seen some content creators only doing like 0.10 but honestly it doesn't like you don't even see a change to the naked eye like you don't you don't see any difference um at 0.10 in my opinion i think 0.35 looks very clean go up to 0.4 maybe that would look good uh, but yeah, that's the only change you want to do in the OBS and I think it looks very very clean doesn't look too washed out uh, With the brightness being lowered. It looks very like you can see the shadows and all that um, A lot better and if you're on PC guys make sure if your PC can obviously run it Make sure your settings on there have shadows enabled because you can actually see lights and shadows and all that. You can see enemies peeking corners before they actually come around the corner using those um, using those features. So if your PC can handle it and you're running on it and you can disable or enable shadows and all these kind of texture features and all that, make sure you have them on if your PC can run it. Anyways, guys, I really hope this video did help you in any way, shape, or form. If it did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world. And if there's any questions, comment down below or hit me up on social media. I'd be more than happy to help. Is it Regen or George? Sign up for this.